So this poor little puppy, he uh, was out playing around, and he's yeah, hurt he's his he's hurt he's hurt his right leg there. Um, you know, a lot of dogs. That's probably one of the biggest questions I ever get is, my dog's limping. What's wrong with it? And not not here in the clinic. Usually, because I can usually see and feel where the the leg has a problem. Where when I get questions on the internet because of these YouTube videos, um, it's hard to give an answer because I don't know unless I can see or feel. But first of all, you can only first off you always kind of want to try to see if you can tell where your your dog's laying, and he's he's <laughs> not putting weight on that foot, so. How do you check out a leg? Well, first of all, you look all up and down to see if there's any blood or swelling or wounds. Um, and uh, it's common to, for, for the toenails to have uh, cracks and, and um, wounds on them. So you just want to check the, where the toenail joins the, the, the toe. Right in there, sometimes they can be painful. So you kind of squeeze each one and see if they react. And of course, he's not reacting too much. He's more smelling my pants because he wants to see where I've been. Um, and then you squeeze each toe after you check the toenails and see if there's any, he's, he's bored. He's gone through this for three times now. Um, and check the toe. Maybe I'll need some help. Give me sweet. Yeah, I know, you're bored. He says, you already diagnosed me, why don't you do it again? Well, I'm doing it for all your fans out there. They want to see what a nice puppy you are. I just said, what a, even for, how old are you now again? Six months. Six months, look at how, look how well mannered you are. You are so good. He's good, this puppy's good. So anyway, he, so you're checking the, you're checking the nails to make sure there's no cracks. And no blood. You're looking underneath the pad to make sure there's no thorns, wounds, even a rash. They'll scrape their their underneath their toes, and they'll lick it raw. So you see a lot of red oozy rash under there. Now he's acting more tired. like a puppy. <laughs> he says, "You know what? I'm done." And uh, so, and we squeeze the toes to make sure there's no sprains or fractures. We squeeze the the metacarpals right here to see, make sure there's no fractures, no swelling. The wrist, the carpus, all you have to do is you don't, you just pull it back and then squeeze to see if there's a sprained wrist. The, the elbow, they can land on it, hurt their elbow. You want to just pull it to see, now see, he's, he's resisting, but he's not painful. He just doesn't like he it. He wants to leave. He wants to leave, so you do work that way. You can work this way. Now, see that? That was interesting. You didn't do that before. But he didn't react when I pushed it all the way in, but he reacted a little bit when I did that. It could be, could be he's just bored, though. But, um, so I don't know about that. So here's the shoulder. That's working well. So we've tested, remember, we looked at the nails, looked at the toes, looked at the metacarpus, look at the carpus, look at the elbow. The radius and ulna are okay, and the humerus is okay, and the ulna is called the funny bone, but the humerus sounds like it should be called the funny bone, right? That's, I, why don't they get the names right? And now the tricep is back here, and off, this the reason why I would really want to film this today is this is the third dog I've seen, seen with a pulled tricep. So if you check the, the tricep like this, there's probably, there's muscles back there as they land, they can pull. So as I squeeze, you see him? Now that's truly, that's truly he's reacting against it. So he's pulled a muscle in here. As he lands, he's stretched the fibers to where they actually tear a little bit, but not tear like a piece of fabric, just stretch and tear, become inflamed. That inflammation leads to pain so what we'll do for him is we'll give him some anti-inflammatories for seven days and we'll tell him just to take it easy. Right. <laughs> that doesn't happen. But you give him anti-inflammatories and then you, you just hopefully it heals on its own, which it usually does. If there's, if after a week or two there's still some pain, then we'll take x-rays 
because we did maybe get a little pain in here. But if they're walking on it and you can bend all the joints, nothing's broken. So that's the main main lesson here for all of you that are watching. And he's gone. <laughs> so just some another. I've made a couple of these different videos with uh, with that in mind to check your dog's leg for pain and swelling. And you can use aspirin at five milligrams per pound twice a day. Um, it's usually a thirty pound dog can get about half half of a one adult aspirin. And um, usually in a few days they're a lot better. And here's Duke doing what he, he's learning how to do. Isn't that a great picture? <laughs> so that's another video about lameness. Uh, this one is a little different because actually there's a sore muscle. Kind of shows you how you might palpate sore muscles that are in the upper leg. So in the um, front leg, it'd be above the elbow triceps area and around the shoulder and around the shoulder blade and around the back and in the um, back leg it'd be above the knee or stifle and you can use aspirin I said one half of an adult aspirin for 30 pounds you can do up to a one adult aspirin for 30 pounds uh, if you use a low dose aspirin like the 80 milligram variety you can use one of those uh, for a 10 pound dog um, and uh, those work really good to, uh, aspirin works really good to relieve the pain. Um, you should always get it checked out by your veterinarian because you might be missing a wound or an abscess or uh, arthritis or even a tumor. But if for most dogs, if they're really sore but they're putting weight on it, it's probably not broken. And if you don't see any wounds or really red swellings, then in a few days it should be better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you see Duke doing what he does in the duck manhole <laughs> or whatever that thing is called. Anyway, have a great day.